Hey there, and welcome back to my art life. Today, for the first time ever in the history of this channel, I will be attempting to make art using only crayons. And what better way to do this, by using crayons by Crayola. Crayons are super basic coloring materials, and we have been using it, even before we can walk. I guess that's why Crayola crayons are always seen as something that only kids use. But today, I'm going to try and see if we can make a decent artwork using only crayons. Although, don't get me wrong, I've been fiddling with crayons every now and then, it's just that this is the first time that I will be using it to make art that isn't as sketchy like I normally do. The approach that I'm looking into, is using crayons like how I would, when working with colored pencils. I'm gonna start off with very light coloring, and will be building up the layers as I go. Normally, I would just go at it, and use heavy pressure right away. But since I would like to use more colors and apply a number of layers, so I think starting with very light pressure is the right way to go. By the way, another reason why I'm doing this video, is because of an uncomfortable situation that I was in, a few months back. Let me tell you the backstory. It was earlier this year, I signed up for an online art workshop. I signed up because I want to learn new techniques and art styles. I also want to learn and observe how the facilitators would facilitate the workshop. I want to learn how they do it, to also improve how I present my YouTube videos. When the workshop started, everyone was asked to introduce themselves, what they like to draw, or, the art materials that they use. When it was my turn, I introduced myself, then I mentioned I also make art in my channel. I also mentioned that I normally use art materials, like, watercolors, gouache, acrylics, colored pencils, and then I paused for a bit, and hesitated. I'm not sure if I should say it, but I blurted it out anyways, thinking it won't be anything. So I proceeded to saying crayons. That's when everyone broke out into laughter. I think they thought I was kidding. Everyone laughed for a while, and I even saw the facilitators snickering. I was embarrassed, and didn't expect that this is going to be their reaction. It felt uncomfortable, so what I did was I just played along, and made a face, to let them know I was kidding. Fast forward to present, I still think about what happened. I couldn't get over it, and still feel the cringe, even it has been months now. I feel so sorry for crayons. I feel like it's something that would readily be taken for granted, and belittled just because. So I thought, I would make a video to show people the potential that crayons have. I want everyone to see, what awesome things they can do with crayons, and that it is more than just for kids. I also want to tell the world, I wasn't kidding. And that's the story how this video came about. I encourage you to also try coloring with crayons again. It's really fun and brings back lots of memories. I also like the feeling of nostalgia, every time I use crayons. I use it every time I'm in a rut, and have artists block. It helps me loosen up and gets me going afterwards. I find using crayons therapeutic, maybe because I can color right in, and there are no expectations of creating a masterpiece. You can just do what you do. It doesn't feel restricting that I might mess it up. It's guilt-free because it doesn't feel like I'm wasting an expensive artist grade, art material. And all you have to think about is to have fun.
And that's it for today's video. I hope you had fun as much as I did, and I appreciate you reaching up to this point. I also hope you learned something new today, or at least something to ponder on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.